Hello, all my lovely, lovely stars, and welcome to our first "Would You Rather." So I actually came across this site, and um, I was actually kind of eager to make this a video. So you know, what? let's hop on into it. All right, so. Would you rather play a game of one-on-one -on -one with Michael Jordan, or play a game with Kobe Bryant? Now this is like a really tough one because I like Michael Jordan personally, but I always like Kobe Bryant. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, guys. I know a lot of you like Kobe Bryant, but personally, Michael Jordan has been. I hear of mine for a long time, so I'm gonna pick uh, Michael. And of course, it's in the majority. Because it's Michael Jordan, he's like a legend. And I respect him, and he's such an amazing person, and then amazing in Space Jam. Alright, let's go on to the next one. When do you rather run fast or jump high? Personally, I like to um, run fast so that way if it, there's like um, a spinning car, boom, run across. So that way I can avoid, you know, passing away, you know. But also, I, I just believe that running fast is actually um, a really good mechanic if you like want to avoid, you know, obstacles in your way instead of jumping high. Because if you jump high, you may miss a lot of things down below. So, yeah, run fast. And of course, as in the majority, Alright, would you rather have a jello room or a pillow room? Hmm, that's something to talk about. Hmm, I mean, think about. <laughs> um, hmm, jello room or pillow room? Well, honestly, with a jello room, I would just eat it. Because I like jello. And I wouldn't want that, honestly. Because jello is like food. And if you enjoy jello so much, you would just eat your whole room, and then that means you won't even have a room. So I would go with a pillow room. Because I like pillows. I like to, I like to, and I also, I like to sleep because it's so comfortable, and there's a lot of, Really comfortable pillows out there. So I'm going to go with the pillow room. <laughs> of course, it's in the majority. <laughs> Alright, the next one is, would you rather be eaten by a lion or be eaten by ants? Um, this is kind of awkward. <laughs> um... Hmm, eaten by a lion or eaten by ants? Hmm. To be honest, neither. <laughs> because, well, for a good reason. Yeah, you know what? I, I would go with being into my ants because um, it'd be a lot slower. You're, you're eating. Well, hold on. Um. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna go with being eaten by a lion because if you get eaten by ants. 
It would actually be um, a faster way to go. But be eaten by a lion. Yeah. Who does throw you a hole? Man, both of these would be really fast. Um, no, I'm being the my lion. <laughs> I'm in the majority, once again. But yeah, honestly, um, I think being into my lion is just, I, because, because you don't have to forward, but, um, Whatever, you know, it's just a whatever kind of thing. All right. Would you rather be married to someone who doesn't love you, or be married to someone that you don't love? Well, be married to someone who doesn't love you is heartbreaking, honestly, because. It would just hurt a lot more. Being married to someone who you don't love, that would be different because that way if you don't like the person, there's always an option to find other people. You know? Because if you find someone that you actually love, it's beautiful. That's, it's a beautiful thing. So yeah, I'm gonna go with be married to someone who don't love you. And of course, it's in the majority, because people don't want their hearts broken, because that would just hurt. But if you don't like the person that that you're in love with, you can just tug it out with them and say it's not working. And then you can find someone who actually you do like. And that's actually good advice, by the way, guys. Because if you don't like the partner you're with, just talk to them. Try to work it out. And if you both decide if you don't want to be together, then find someone else. Because there's a million people out there, you know? Alright. Would you rather be unable to survive without eating something every hour, or be unable to taste anything for the rest of your life? Ooh, this is a tough one. Let's have a think about this. Unable to survive without eating every hour, Oh, unable to taste anything. Hmm, this is a tough one, actually. Ooh. Um. Well, actually, I would go with um, being able to survive without eating something every hour, because if we're unable to taste anything for the rest, because. If you're unable to taste anything for the rest of your life, it's your whole life to be unable to taste rest. So I, I would go with this personally. So far, I'm the, in the majority. I'm happy with this um, round. I'm very happy. All right, if you had chose a superpower, would you run out of dime vision or heightened senses and smell and smell and hearing? Mm. Personally, I, I would go with night vision, so that way I can, like, um, look up. Like in the dark, you can actually see things. 
in the dock. And you can see everything around you. And everything. 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 So yeah, I would go with that vision personally. That's in, in the majority. When you, if you had to eat one, would you rather eat a hamburger or hot dogs? You know, personally, I like both. But honestly, I, I, I don't like hot dogs. And this is why. To me, It's just that hot dogs to me just don't um it, it's not my cup of tea. Hot dogs are not because the thing is that my my taste buds change over time. And and one one day I just I just don't like it anymore, you know. Personally, I like hamburgers because, hey, they like bay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but honestly, I like hamburgers a lot. I like hamburgers. Of course! <laughs> Okay, we do matter. Always know when people are lying. I always get away with lying. No. Uh uh. No. Uh uh. No. Uh uh. I. Lying is not cool. Whatsoever. That's not cool. And. And. It, it's so immature to get away with it. You know? I'm not a bad person. I always want to know when people are lying, so that way you you would know what's going on. And guys, do you watch Once Upon a Time? Emma can actually sense when people are lying, and I've always wanted that too. I've always been like that. In my life, I've always been that way, because I can sense when people are lying too. So yes, I would definitely go with this one. And it, yes, it's in the majority. And do you know why? Because if you know someone is lying about you, and you can sense it, it's through the body language of that person who's lying. That's how you can sense it. Okay, we're going to do one more nail call to this episode. Would you rather suck on and suck on a beer or funnel a beer? Hmm, I would funnel a beer. <laughs> Because I, personally, I drink beer, alright? Yeah, I admit it, I drink beer. So what? It's not a crime to drink. Un un unless you drink too many. And no, uh-uh. Don't drink too many, because you will get into trouble, or you may get into a car accident. But personally, I will funnel it because... It tastes good, but don't drink too much. That's my advice. Don't drink too much. But yeah, I would definitely find on a beer. Oh well. There goes my streak. 
Anyways, um, hope you guys enjoyed Woody Rider Part 1. If you guys want to see more, let me know down below in the comment section. And, Astro Blast, that like button, because that helps a lot. And keep relaxing, relaxing, and don't stop believing. I'll see you guys in the next video. And I love all of you. And also, the link to this site will be down below in the description. If you guys want to try it out for yourselves.